Leonard Wood was born in Winchester, New Hampshire on October 9, 1860. His father was a doctor during the Civil War. At when Leonard was three, the Wood family settled in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. He had a brother named Jacob and a sister named Barbara, both of whom were younger. The Wood children grew up very strong, both physically and mentally, though rather wild. At the age of 12, Barbara died of brain inflammation. Dr. Wood was very upset over the death of his only daughter and died a few days later of an acute illness. Leonard attended Harvard Medical School and received a medical degree in 1884. After realizing he didn't like the limits of private practice, he joined the Army Medical Corps and was assigned to the Arizona Territory. In 1890, he married Louisa A. Smith. Soon after, he was assigned the role of White House Attending Surgeon, where he attended to senior government officials, including Presidents Cleveland and McKinley. Through this position, he befriended Theodore Roosevelt. At the outbreak of the Spanish-American War, the men helped to organize the first volunteer cavalry, better known as the Rough Riders. Wood led the Rough Riders to their first victory at Las Guasamas, Cuba. He handed, then handed the command to Roosevelt in order to take command of the 2nd Cavalry Brigade. After the military campaign, Wood was promoted to Brigadier General and then to Major General. During his time in Cuba, Wood improved sanitary conditions and supported educational and social reforms. After his promotion, Wood was sent to the Philippines in an effort to subdue the Muslim Moros. His methods, while effective, were harsh. By 1908, Wood returned to the States to command the Department of the East. This position helped Wood to make contacts that would prove vital to his advocacy and political ambitions. On April 22, 1910, Wood was named Chief of Staff of the Army. He is the first and only Medical Corps officer to do so. Wood believed that war with Germany was inevitable and pressed to strengthen the officers' corps. He also believed the role of the citizen soldier was crucial to the defense of the country and lobbied for citizen training programs. His efforts led to experimental camps for college students established by the Army. After World War I was declared on April 6, 1917, a quick decision had to be made as to who would be the supreme commander of the U.S. forces. Wood lost the position to John J. Pershing. There were three reasons Wood did not get the position. The first was his health. He had had a head injury a few years prior, and it left him with a limp. The second was that Pershing had more up-to-date battle experience. And the third that was that Wood had a reputation of being a political general whose loyalty to authority was questionable. In December of 1917, Wood visited Europe with a group of officers to observe operations run by Pershing. During the trip, Wood made several controversial remarks about American leadership. For Pershing, this was the last straw. He left, let it be very publicly known that Wood would not be welcomed back in France. When General Leonard Wood returned to America, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal for his especially meritorious and conspicuous service during the Great War, which is of course now known as World War I. After some political drama, Wood retired from active service in 1921. His final assignment was to be governor of the Philippines. His strict policies caused unrest and he was sharply criticized. In May 1927, he returned from the Philippines to seek medical attention for brain tumors. On August 7, 1927, General Leonard Wood died at the Brigham Hospital in Boston. He is buried in the Rough Riders section of Arlington National Cemetery. General Wood experienced both success and bitter failure in his life. Despite everything he suffered, he maintained a sense of confidence, intelligence, strength, and above all, perseverance.